Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to this video on logical puzzles where we're going to be focusing on ordered questions. In these questions, they will be based on a group of people who are ordered based on activity such as racing or something measurable such as weight or height. For these questions, we recommend writing down the information in a way that is as close to chronological or order as possible. Let's have a look at an example now. There are five runners competing in the marathon who go for a health check. Their names are Jing, Sathu, Jiran, Salt and Farah. The nurse measures their heart rate, weight, diastolic blood pressure and blood group. Have a go at this question by finding out Sathu's weight. Pause the video now. Now, let's take this question step by step. The first thing we need to do is find out how many variables there are. We see in the second line that there are five names, Jing, Sathu, Jiran, Zolt and Farah. What I'd recommend you do is draw a table with this information. Whenever there's information with ordered questions, especially when there's three variables, five names, that sort of thing, the best approach would not be the crosshatch or fill-in method, it would be a small, simple table. So in the first column, we've put the names. We're also told that we have given information about heart rate, weight, diastolic blood pressure and blood group. However, with blood group, there is no any follow-up information. So let's just take the information where it says in no particular order. We know that there's heart rate, so we put that next. We know that there's weight, so we put that next and then we put diastolic blood pressure to give us this table. Hopefully you would have used a similar method for this question. Now, what we need to do next is always start with the clearest information. This refers to any information that isn't vague and gives us information that we can put directly into our table without having to carry out any further calculations. We are told in the second line that Farah weighs 63 kilograms and has the third highest heart rate. In our table, we can put that Farah has a weight of 63, and we can put the fact that he has the third highest heart rate in there as well, because the information is presented to us in an order where the smallest heart rate is 66, the largest is 75, and the third highest is 70. Next, we should look for information where there is a difference between these values. This will help us decipher what the value of one of the heart rates, weights or diastolic blood pressure is. Looking at the third line, we see Zolt has a diastolic blood pressure that is 10 more than Duran. There are only two values that have a difference of 10 between them for blood pressure. These are 67 and 77. We know that Zolt has the higher blood pressure out of Zolt and Duran. Therefore, we know that Salt will have a blood pressure of 77 and Duran will have a blood pressure of 67. We keep looking for information now where there is a difference between two values. We see that one person's diastolic blood pressure, that is 85, has a heart rate that is two more than Jing. We now need to look for heart rate values that have a gap of two. The only two values that have this are 73 and 75. Of these two people, we have one person who is unknown and Jing. The person who is unknown has the higher, higher heart rate out of himself and Jing. We therefore know that Jing will have a heart rate of 73 because the only two values which have a difference of two are 73 and 75. We can therefore plug that value into there. Next, we should look at the information we've put in so far. Remember what we are trying to work out. We need to work out Sathu's weight, and from this table so far, it could be argued that we are far from it. However, the information that we're already given will help us fill in the gaps that are left. The last line, the person who has the third highest diastolic blood pressure has the highest heart rate and a weight that is lower than Farah. So looking at Farah, we see that he has a weight of 63 kilograms. Now, with a weight of 63 kilograms, 
if we look, the, the weight that is only lower than 63 is 50. That means this unknown person has to have a weight of 50 kilograms. They also have the third highest di diastolic blood pressure. The third highest diastolic blood pressure is 85. We also know that they have the highest heart rate. This means they must have a heart rate of 75. We therefore have a person who has a weight of 50 kilograms, a blood pressure of 85, and a heart rate of 75. Now, the only person we do not have the information for blood pressure, weight, and heart rate is Safi. It could be it can be argued that Farah, Zolt, Jaran, and Jing cannot fit these three categories of having 50 kilograms, 85 blood pressure, and 75 heart rate. That must mean that these values are representative of Safi. We can therefore put these in. And this is really useful for us now, because now it shows that Safi has a weight of 50 kilograms. This is the value that we are trying to work out, and luckily for us, it's the option A. The answer to this question is A. Okay. I hope that made sense to you. Feel free to watch the video back to understand the example again. This is the complete table you should have got at the end. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.